All of the problems I work through in my videos can be downloaded from accountingworkbook.com. If you'd like a copy for yourself, just click the PDF link and you can download a copy to your computer. Also found on the website are links to all of my accounting videos, not just the ones here on YouTube that are publicly listed. They're also members only videos. About 40% of my videos are free and open. The other 60% are for members. If you click one of the members links, it'll take you to a page that looks like this, says members only content. If you'd like access to that content, just hit the join button. Okay, let's jump into the problem. Let's examine problem 61A. Uh, let's read the problem and just see how we do. It says, for each of the following costs, prepare a rough graph. You don't have to graph this in detail with the graph paper. You can draw rough lines. I'm just looking for general shapes here that illustrates the cost behavior. Uh, the y-axis will be cost. The x-axis will be activity level. So let's do A and just sort of get the feel for this. Cost of a cell phone plan. The plan charges a flat rate of $20 per month for unlimited calling and text messaging plus, point, plus 10 cents a megabyte. Okay, uh, then the activity is data usage. So again, Y is our cost, X is our megabytes used. Let's just say we use zero megabytes. We just use it for phone and for texting. We don't use any data at all. Well, our plan costs us not zero, right? I, I just wanna say, does it cost zero? No, it costs somewhere above zero, it costs 20 bucks. Now, every megabyte I use above 20, it costs me a little bit more money. So there it is. We've answered one. That's the general shape of the cost. That's all I'm looking for. If I were asking this, I wouldn't even ask for anything else, just like a line there. <laughs> That's it. That's the answer to that question. B, cost of plastic used in manufacturing small garbage bins. Each bin takes 600 grams of plastic. Okay, so garbage bins require plastic. If I make zero garbage bins, I have zero plastic cost. If I have one garbage bin, let's just say 600 gram costs a dollar. One bin, one dollar of plastic. Two bins, two dollars of plastic. Three bins, three dollars of plastic. Four bins. This is a pure variable cost. One bin, one dollar. Two bins, two dollars, etc., etc., etc. It's just a straight line going up from the axis. That's B. C. Cost of rent on an automotive parts manufacturing factory. <laughs> The activity is the number of good parts produced. Okay, well, my landlord doesn't know how many parts I'm making. Then they, they don't even care if I make zero parts. Let's say I take the month off. They're still gonna charge me rent. So this is a fixed cost. If my rent is $10,000, doesn't matter if I manufacture zero parts or a million parts. My rent is my rent. So this is a fixed cost, and that's what a fixed cost looks like. A straight horizontal line. D. Cost of professor salaries to teach introductory accounting. Cost is $5,000 per, per section. Sections have a maximum size of 50 students. The university typically has between 120 and 220 students enrolled in a course. Okay, so from basically from zero, well, from I'd say one to 50 students, it's gonna cost us 5,000 bucks. From 50 to 100 students, it costs us 10,000 bucks. Because each time we go over 50, we got to bring in a new professor or pay that professor double to take on a second section and so on and so on and so on. So every time the activity crosses that threshold of 50 more students, we add a new section. We got to pay a new professor to take on that section. So that's basically what it looks like. If you want to draw, you know, lines that connect there, that's fine. If you don't, that's fine. Uh, but that's, that's what that cost is shaped like, like sort of a big staircase. Wages for staff at a construction site. Employees are paid 15 bucks an hour, but must be paid for a minimum of two hours and in two hour increments. So every time they get called in, it's a minimum of two hours and they get paid in two hour increments. All of this means is it's almost like a very, wages in an intro managerial accounting course are generally thought of as variable. Uh, we can bring in employees when we want. We can send them home when we want. Here it's just variable with a two hour sort of fixed cost increment. So almost like the professors, but just a mini staircase here. And I'm sorry my writing isn't better, but that's basically it. It's two hours and then for those two hours, the employee will stay on. So they call that step variable. They call the professor one step fixed. Uh, F. Cost of private jet fuel, the cost is $500 per hour for the first four hours and then $300 per hour thereafter. This is the one 
I'd say 75% of students screw this up. So <laughs> hang in there with me. I want you to think about this. We're going to actually plot this on a proper graph. Uh, so the cost is $500 per hour for the first four hours and $300 per hour thereafter. All right, so we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight hours roughly. That's our activity is the hour and our cost is $500 an hour. So what do I pay if I use zero hours? I pay zero. Uh, by hour one, I pay 500 bucks. For hour two, if I take it up for two hours, how much am I paying? Now this is where students get screwed up. They go, oh, it's $500. Well, no, if I wanna go on a two hour flight, it cost me $1,000, right? 500 for hour one and 500 for hour two. It cost me $1,000 to get to hour two. Hour three cost me fifteen hundred. Like if I again, hour three itself doesn't cost me, but a three-hour flight. If I have three hours of activity, the cost is fifteen hundred. If I have four hours of activity, the cost is two thousand. So this starts to look like a variable cost, right? Each hour is five hundred. It's sort of like the plastic in the garbage cans. Each garbage can is six hundred grams of plastic. It's a dollar each hour flying is $500. But when we get over a certain length of flight, it reduces to $300 an hour. So between hour uh, four and hour five, we don't go from 2000 to 2500, we go from 2000 to 2300. And what ends up happening is the slope of our line right there starts to decrease. And it's just, it's still going up. We still pay more for hour five than we did for hour four. We pay 2,300 there, but that's closer as far as we're concerned. Um, so it's a, the slope goes down between hour four and hour five. It's still a straight line. It's still going up. The further we fly, the more we pay. What often happens here is students will somehow come up with either something that looks like this or uh, like a, a line that somehow like slopes down or something like that. But no, no, no. The more we fly, the more we pay. So costs are going up. They're just going up at a slower rate in that example. Okay, last one. The cost of a rental car. The cost uh, is a flat rate of $50 per day for the first 50 kilometers, then 50 cents per kilometer driven after that. Okay, so we're driving. We pay $50. Once we hit 50 KMs, it starts to become variable. The cost starts to tick upwards. There we have it. We have solved problem 61A. Hopefully these have been helpful for you. If they have been helpful, don't forget to hit those buttons for me and uh, have yourself a great day. Bye for now.